as uh, Nambula Kachumi. I'm the executive director at uh, We Create. And uh, We Create um, basically is a women's entrepreneurial center of resources um, where entrepreneurs um, come to access various tools and resources that support their business growth. So it's basically a public-private partnership uh, program that is supported by the U.S. government in partnership with uh, Caterpillar Foundation, uh, Griffin Works, as well as the African Women Entrepreneurship Program. And um, the idea for the centers that have been opened across the globe, including in Kenya, in Pakistan, Vietnam, Cambodia, and Zambia, is to offer um, solutions that support women to start and grow um, sustainable businesses. And what we do specifically is also to address some of the gender barriers that um, negatively impact women from accessing entrepreneurial tools and resources. So we are basically a hub, and um, it's a physical location which is centrally located. And, and, and targets women that are looking to start and grow their businesses. There's been a number of success stories that um, the We Create Center has recorded um, since its inception. And um, what is most fascinating is that some of the businesses that we've incubated here at the center actually uh, came at idea stage, where somebody basically just had an idea, you know, this brilliant idea, and they were looking of ways of how they could bring life you know to these projects the simple women like you and i you know who sometimes we meet every day sometimes we buy from them but coming to the we create center has given them the opportunity to really gain exposure to different uh, business resources My name is Norma Simpson. I'm the chairperson of Chawama Women Farmers. This uh, started uh, we, before we are farmers from Chawama. Uh, we had an opportunity to uh, be part of the Startup Academy here in, uh, yeah, the, uh, at this premises here in Kuku Compound. And uh, we were privileged that farmers who came together and we were trained under the Startup Academy for 15 weeks. Uh, this uh, thing we we had we heard of it on the, there was an advertisement on the on the TV encouraging women to come and uh, learn entrepreneurship skills because as you know as the smallholder farmers we have problem in marketing problem in expansion problem in access of credit facilities so when we came here uh, we were enrolled and uh, we started the program for 15 weeks and uh, we graduated and there are so many things that we learned during our training. We learned, first of all, uh, the issue of bootstrapping. This is a concept that has made this thing flourish. Because uh, we thought that uh, for any business to expand, you have to access loans, credit facilities. But from here, they said it is important that you can even start very small. Through that training, we have managed at the moment to acquire land. Through that training, we have managed to secure a contract with ShopRite, 180 tons per month. Um, this is because of the tools that they have equipped us, namely uh, the, 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 the importance of putting together what they call a core team. Nenia Mikirashuka we create at Punsa Maski Osiana Siana. Kuna bwira ko wena ngocho kila kumanti makulu wamene manati tandizi la mametinga limile ma potato ziatu so wanati punsa kuti siku shitabati muntu paka ungale na land ni pa mene ungali me ulo masa kumungali me ma potato zi. Hmm, ungali siku makuli ba we create because wanati punsa kusemen za as a team as a group at least muga mbosemen za as a team. My ideas, your person, you should achieve life, young career, especially for him, is mine because is up and got was my one bit more knowledge moving to Vina and Miss Mose Kuziva. Napezako Tandizo Kuru, Nikonis and Akustakos, who saving and drama in Angu, 
kudala sinenzo kwa nisa kusavinga. Just because wana tifunzisa by week create na kopeleka, so nima kwa nisa na kusavinga. For women, we are not open to such opportunities like the training, entrepreneurship skills training. Usually the entrepreneurship skills training that are existing, they, they charge so much money, and then at the end of it all, there's no follow-up. But as well for, those are the problems that we face. You can enter, they can advertise, you go there, you pay 3,000, a lot of money, at the end of it all, they just dump you. But here is a different uh, story. They train you at a minimum uh, fee, uh, usually, and at, you stagger it according to your means. And then when you get the skill, they are able also to follow up, to link up, to ensure that you succeed. And also the other uh, thing is uh, the access to these uh, multinational companies. We don't have access because they're looking for quantities. And we had, those are the problems that women, most of us, like small-scale farmers, face out there in the, in the, in, in the community. We cannot access these multinational uh, companies. But we thought that it was just a question of me getting four boxes of potatoes and just going and dump them at shop. It is not like that. We create as equipped So we are, we are aware of the requirements of what we need for us to supply those and meet their demands. Okay, my message to women out there is that please come to WeCreate Center and also uh, enroll in these programs, especially the Startup Academy program. Because the Startup Academy program does not look at your uh, educational background. All they're looking for is for you to have an idea. And they'll teach you on the things that have taught us. They'll teach you on starting very, very small. And they'll teach you on how you can uh, expand your business without necessarily getting credit facilities elsewhere. This is a, 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 a concept also of teamwork, and also there's also the concept of bootstrapping. These are the tools that we never learned as uh, women uh, out there in the field. We were struggling on our own, but if you come here, they'll equip you with the tools that will make you expand. Right now, we were just supplying Soweto market, but today we are able to supply the chainsaws like ShopRite and these other five-star hotels. Um, the idea of the We Create Centers was really to um, transform women entrepreneurs from the informal sector to the formal sector. And this is the idea even um, as, as, as the centers themselves were being designed, um, they, they were being designed um, putting into consideration that um, there was need to, to grow high-impact entrepreneurs. business name is Kitty's Organics and Kitty's Organics is a company that is striving to produce handcrafted premium organic skincare products and so far we have uh, virgin coconut oil, we have rosehip butter, we have cocoshea body butter, we have virgin avocado oil, we have avocia hair cream and we also have our small lip balms that we're about to launch. So this is my space, this is my office basically, my home is my office, this is where I started and this is where I'm running my business currently and I have learned through the process, being here has taught me a lot of things, it has taught me that you do not need a bigger space for you to be able to run a business, own a business, you can actually start from where you're from and as long as you can get things done that's what counts because you can be able to tr track your progress. So for those who believe that you have to have a bigger space, bigger equipment, you can always start where you are. And this is where I started, the business model. I've been able to learn how to be able to interact even with an investor and give them like, if they had two seconds to listen to me or two minutes to listen to me, instead of taking them through a 30 page uh, business plan, I can actually take them through my uh, business model and with the business model it highlights who's my customer, who's what product, where are they found, um, 
promoting your product, funding, basically it takes you through the most crucial questions that an investor would ask, oh, should that be done? It also gives me test assumptions. What am I thinking? So it keeps me on my toes for me to be able to know what I'm working towards and what works, what doesn't work. And this doesn't just apply for one product or just one business idea. It works for different business ideas. Like for example, I will have an idea probably at the end of the year to start a milk care range. I go back to this position and I put everything down. So I, I believe that this business model has been able, has helped me to summarize my ideas and who my customer is, how does the customer get the product, where specifically. So it keeps challenging me in different ways. Hi Monica, You are running short, yeah, especially share butter yes. and uh, coconut oil. Okay. This is where I stock most of my products and it's a skin and natural wellness center. We just came from production, from showing you how it's made to where the customers can find it. So going back to the my my drawing that you saw way back, it shows you from the product where the consumer can actually find it. So from production, this is where my customers can actually find most of my products, actually all of my products. Uh, we do receive the product from Katie and the response is very good from our client, especially for the hair and the dry skin. I would say she's so much into natural beauty. She's one woman I've seen, I've known her, she's just been natural all her life. Mm -hmm. So she's aware by profession, mm -hmm. but that is not her calling. So I think she had the calling into doing beauty products and all that. So when she approached me at first, she said, then I've put this thought that I can do something about beauty. Everyone is using cosmetics that have got other chemicals at all. And I told her, no, let's try. So she started formulating. And I also tried myself when my skin started changing. So I told her, I think uh, you're in the right direction. Some of the challenges that I continuously face is finances for me to be able to expand space uh, because of rentals, uh, as well as skilled personnel, and also being not being able to find some of the raw materials that I need within the country. So those are some of my challenges. To all the women that we create and all over the world, it is possible as long as you put your mind to it and it doesn't matter where you start as long as you have the dream and you keep doing what you need to do and stop talking and actually put your heart and mind to what you need to do and eventually you get to where you need to go. So stop talking, start doing. Well, most of our programs are programs that target startups and early stage businesses. But we also do have accelerator programs for already existing. We've been wearing the picks for the past five years. Now we reached a point at which we, we wanted to, to do something different with what we have. And we were looking at uh, uh, how we could start a, a, you know, to develop the business that we have to the next level. And so that's what prompted me to go to Recreate and just learn what else, how else I, can, I could scale my business. So I had been thinking uh, about it, about adding value and obviously getting more for, for, my, for, my, for my pigs. And so when I went to WeCreate with just an idea, I found a lot of other women who also just had ideas and some were just starting up. And so through the interaction and, and the skills that they teach at WeCreate, within that 15 weeks, I learned a lot. I learned how to actually just, you know, realize your, your idea, just build your idea. From the idea stage to to, to market stage. When I, when I started, uh, uh, that's five years ago, uh, to me it looked like a, a men's business. I didn't come across uh, women who were doing this. And so I, I challenged myself and said, okay, rather than uh, keeping chickens, which uh, uh, women 
uh, do, most women do, uh, I decided to venture into something that was predominantly done by men. And now I can see that uh, what, what, what men can do, the women can also do. And I would encourage other women to also do some of these things that, that, that men do. For the women that have gone through We Create, I think now they've acquired the relevant skills to be able to do, uh, to, to implement their ideas, whatever their aspirations has been, they are now able to put that into practice. And for those that haven't yet gone through We Create, my message to them is that they, that's the place to go, to be able to acquire the relevant skills that are required to do a business properly, a business that will give you a profit, a business that will sustain you. Women have opportunities equal to men. They can actually do what... Nothing stops them to do what men can do. And there's, there's actually no law that stops a woman to do uh, any business they would want to do. I think it's, it's a matter of uh, uh, a mindset change and, and uh, uh, that's one of the things, one of the benefits that you get by going through a program like we create. It just gives you the necessary skills that the men would also use, the same skills that the men would use, the same knowledge that the men would use. I'm indebted to we create. Um, they've given me so much. Uh, just the interaction with uh, other entrepreneurs, listening to their stories. You know, in this journey, we, you sometimes weather and you feel like you're probably not doing the right thing. But when you, you are in a group and you are learning together and you are listening to other people's uh, you know, successful stories and the unsuccessful stories, they actually just build you and fire you up. And you begin to believe in what you are doing. So I'm really indebted to we create um, for you know, uh, giving me a, a different mindset and I'm looking at my different uh, 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 business differently. I now have the energy to do, um, to go into uh, processing, they've given me the framework in which to think. I've already done the groundwork for, you know, the new business that I'm venturing into. I, I can only th say thank you to WeCreate for all they have done. So since we've launched, we have actually um, impacted over 8,900 uh, women that have accessed resources through the WeCreate Center here in Zambia. And um, out of these, we've had over 2,700 jobs that have uh, uh, been uh, launched or grown. And we've also had um, new existing new businesses that have come out of these um, interventions, about and, uh, 870. Two, three, four, five. 5,730. 5,730? 5, 30. 30. What was last week's? Last week's was... 2,567. So it comes to 8,297. Each time that we meet on a Wednesday, there's some amount of money that we put into our account. And it's really growing every day. And apart from that, people get in loan, uh, they, got, they get loans which we are charging 20%. So it's really growing, and uh, we can't wait for 2018. Uh, my name is Messi Chiwanza Piri. Actually, I'm the trainer of uh, We Create Famosi Saving Group. I came to know about We Create um, should be last two years ago. And uh, somebody else actually who passed through the training, the inter entrepreneurship training which We Create was offering, is the one who told me about it. And I came and I was one of the entrepreneurs who were trained in flight three. So after being trained by we, we Create, it actually opened up my mind in whatever I've been doing. I've been in so many businesses actually. I'm a farmer and also I'm into soft finishing and I'm also a trainer. One of the things which has actually benefited me as a trainer I didn't take it so seriously, but after I went through the We Create program, it actually opened up my mind that I should also use this uh, training thing to make money. So like uh, today, I have uh, a privilege of getting the money, which, uh, which I hope and believe that uh, it will take me to another level because uh, I've been looking for this opportunity because uh, I only make 
handbags and uh, scarves, things with my hand, but I wanted something to top up with my business because I have discovered that the little money that I've got, it will push me up to another level and then uh, I'll get what people, the, um, the things that they like most. So I'm hoping that uh, my, this money will give me more money in my pocket. Most of the time as entrepreneurs, we want to start with big capital or we want funding, but what can move you as an entrepreneur? The knowledge I got from WeCreate is your idea. You move with your idea. If you have an idea, you can even attract other um, donors or funders to fund you if they see that your idea is viable. A miracle will not just come from nowhere. A miracle would come when you have someone who would pump in something into your head and you really go flat out and work. And I would encourage um, all those women that are out, uh, out there who might really be thinking, oh, business, because I've heard women saying, no, business is actually goes into the blood. Which blood? There's no blood. It's just the way you actually look at yourself and uh, this is the place to come. And we recommend, uh, we, we commend, uh, we create for the job well done. They have reached so many people. There are people, women who come, who can't even write. But they've been taught how to run their businesses. And of, of which I feel WeCreate is really doing a great job for women. And uh, maybe what I would really encourage them is uh, like what they are doing now. Even those who have gone, who have gone out, uh, who have gone out after the, uh, going through this 15 week of uh, uh, session, they even follow whatever happens that we create. We are informed, and we are well informed of whatever is happening. No wonder we are also here because of we create. So we really uh, thank we create for opening women. You know, we have put ourselves in a box, but they have been told that we have to jump out of that box. There's a lot that actually we can be able to benefit as women. Gone are the days where women were taught to be in the kitchen. Not, not anymore. Brenda Kivongwe Chitembure. I'm um, a mother of three. And it all, you know, Waleleka started in 2011 with two learners. I have a passion for the, learn, you know, for the little ones. So what happened was we used to live here actually, and we started in our living room with two learners. That's Mr. and Mrs. Chitembure's uh, living room. What moved me was uh, the passion, you know, the love for the little ones. And I looked at my community, which is Chilanga, and I thought, we need a school, we need a school, we have to, you know, donate to the little ones. Um, it all started when I was st still working as a banker, but I have a passion and I told myself, I have to move away from the banking sector and start my own business, which is um, the school. And um, as we are moving, you know, I decided in 2014, that is after working for 20 years for the banking sector, I decided to be on my own. And uh, unfortunately, 2015, I lost my husband, that's October. I left Indo in December 2014. 2015, I lost my husband, and uh, that was in October. But in November, a friend of mine gave me a call from Kawe to say, we create Zambia, which deals with women, you know, women entrepreneurs. You should go there. I initially, I did it to say, oh my God, I'm not going to manage because I was a month old as a widow. But, um, I collected myself and told myself, let me go and see what they are doing. But before going there, I spoke to Rebecca, who used to be the operation manager there. And she told me to drive there to, to, to go to the center. And that's how I found myself at uh, We Create Zambia. When I got there, I just told myself, this is the place I need to be. Because with We Create, when I started going there, you know, the, um, it's more or less like a workshop for women women entrepreneurs women who've got ideas women who are dealing with businesses and they you know they really give you the direction to say this is how you're supposed to be running your business and uh, i i've got no regret whatsoever it's because what i've learned from we create especially from the startup academy 
you know, it's a 15 week program where you're fully back to your exposed to mentors. And, uh, you know, it's something which really gave me direction because I was almost giving up on my business to say, oh my God, how am I going to run alone? And after the 15 weeks, which I was with, uh, we create Zambia. When I came back, I came back a changed person. You know, the way I started looking at my business, my business made a lot of sense to me. Like, and like earlier, where I thought of giving up after losing my husband. But it made a lot of sense in the sense that I, I understood what I should start with. I should understand who my customers are and what exactly is it that I'm offering. You know, looking at the economy nowadays, you know, money is like difficult, meaning when it comes to paying school fees, some parents used to have challenges. But we have flexible terms, and that was a secret which was, I was taught that we create Zambia. So I'm able to give my clients to say they can pay in two, uh, two installments, and they're comfortable with that. I'm smiling, and they're also smiling. And, uh, you know, it's, um, there are a number of things which I've put in place. Like, initially, I didn't even have enough flyers to go out there. I didn't even have my Facebook page or what I thought was, okay, fine, the school will be selling itself. Our working relationship with the director is excellent. It's very good. We work as a team. She's a hard-working lady, and she has a vision for the school. She wants to help the community as much as possible. And uh, she, as far as I know her, she's really a hard-working lady. The director is somebody who inspires me to work extra hard. Not only is she a parent to me, but she's somebody who has to mentor me on my mistakes which I make in the office. So at times, she'll be there telling me or guiding me on what I'm supposed to do. And then later in the day or at night, I reflect and think those are the things that I'm supposed to do. And they strengthen me in my life. Ah, women should be inspired. Looking at what the director has, she's a woman, but she has done a lot in the community. I hope other women, they are looking to what she has done. They are also inspired over that. Well, it is important to inspire women in the sense that uh, I want to believe as a woman, you are a mother. You, once you educate a woman, it means you've educated the entire clan. So with We Create, what they are doing is it's a very, very good thing. And uh, with women, when a woman knows business or how to run a business, it means even our economy is going to improve. We are creating jobs, you know, much as I'm benefiting as an individual, but all what we are doing is how are we going to serve our community? So by serving the community, the women are the ones who are in the forefront to say what is it that the community needs. Otherwise, special thanks to We Create Zambia because they are my mentors. They made me move from the level where I was, where I had lost hope, and they gave me hope. And here I am today, smiling. And not only that, the other thing which I've, you know, through networking, we've managed to get ourselves um, eight computers, which we are praying to say, oh God, one day we should have a room where we're going to put our computers to enable our leaders to start using the computers. Otherwise, special thanks to We Create Zambia with all smiles. Over the years, we decided, why not do it as a business? And that's how we got in touch with We Create through a friend of ours, Pastor Alice. She introduced me to We Create. And through We Create, then we decided to do business as it should be. Uh, you know, starting a business without knowledge of a business, you don't go any far. So with We Create, what they did is they taught me how to start a business with just an idea. And I went to We Create with an idea of planting cashew nuts. Um, in the process, discovered my inner self at the end of the day that I can really do business. I don't really need millions. I can start a business with just what I have. This is where we do our bootstrapping. We do vegetables, different types of vegetables. We have rape, um, Chinese, we've got cabbage, we've got onion, and we sell them to our local market. Because at We Create, they taught us that we don't just sit. We speak and we do. So we stop talking all the time, but we do something. So with the bootstrap 
that we do here, we are able to buy a number of things. We are able to source out the goods that we want. We are able to source um, the equipment that we have. For example, right now, the biggest asset list we've bought is a tractor, which we're waiting to buy the plows for us to extend our business. But when I went to WeCreate, I started seeing what I can do, what other revenue streams I can have. So every time I'd learn something, for example, when we learned about the um, teamwork, I came back and sat with my family and said, uh uh, bootstrapping? Wait, we're a team. I would love we create to continue because most of the women, the women I've met at we create, were not where we are. We had no idea on how to do business. We had no idea how important uh, to keep our books because some people do business and they don't keep their books. So we've had accountants. We have we've had people to do with marketing. We've had people come in just to teach us on branding. We have people just to teach us on personal branding, corporate branding. And our lives, when I look at all the women, for example, the ones who are in my flight, which is flight two, no one is really just sitting. All of us, we are on the run. We are checking at each other. We are, we've, team, we've made a network of women encouraging each other. And for me, I think we create has changed a lot of lives. The knowledge they give us is not something that you can get in a lifetime for free, basically. And the passion they have to see women change is what is helping us to move forward. So it's yes for we create to go. My name is Chipo Hidon Itale, our founder of Cafe of Zambian Arts. I came up with this idea to open an arts cafe about four years ago. I remember writing my business plan some time back then. And basically what I had is to provide a platform that to promote Zambian arts. Basically the idea of opening up a restaurant. So I was looking at a place where people were walking and they see Zambian paintings everywhere. They see Zambian statues and crafts all over the place from the tables. And the difference would be that everything in the cafe will be for sale. So I see someone walking, many times walking to a restaurant and say, that's a beautiful table, but I don't know where to get it. So I was thinking people should walk in and be able to buy everything that's there. And in the meantime, I'll be promoting Zambian arts and culture. So people walk in and they love a chair and they could buy it. And the idea is to have different Zambian artists come together from all walks of life, from all platforms of all ages, to come here and showcase their art, to sell their art in the cafe, from the food, specifically Zambian food. Um, we sell Zambian foods and drinks, the local Chiwanto drinks, the Munkoyo drinks, uh, the Nshima and the relish cook the way they cook it back in the village, just to provide a taste and a feel. Uh, probably looking at people who just want to know what is Zambia about. Many people walk in and it's all, definitely the Victoria Falls is one of the main attractions, but how can we bring in all different cultures in one place? We bring in something from the Komboka or from the Ntuala ceremony and bring it there in one place where someone can just walk in and have a taste and a feel of Zambia. I'm looking at bringing in Zambian artists who provide the, lo the Zambian touch of music, strictly traditional music, folk tales, um, Kalindula, but the Zambian type, the ones we'd hear our grandparents talk about, uh, just story time, poetry, crafts. My, my passion for art was just in all, all areas. I remember doing art when I was way much younger, but when I came back to Zambia, it wasn't too promoted in school, so I had to stop doing art, but I still always had an eye and love for artwork. And seeing so much art and talent in Zambia that was not being promoted just sparked something in my mind to say, I'd like to provide a platform to promote that art, to promote it to the international market, and even the local market that doesn't know how to get to the Zambian artists. So when I started working at the lodge, I met a great artist, Dominic Yombe, and I was so in love with all the paintings everywhere. And I thought to myself, who's promoting this work? So I'm really grateful to Chipo uh, for prom uh, promoting me, really. Mm. There is a bit of uh, a problem in terms of marketing. But like what she's doing, uh, what she's coming up, uh, it will be easy for me to, me to be marketed. You know, business will just boom, like, you know, uh, just like that. So I'm... Um, you know, what we started with the uh, Chipo go a long, long way. So I thought to find a way to promote his art. I remember going to him and saying, I'd like to promote you if I can and just show people what you're doing and just promote Zambian art. And as soon as I came up to 
find out about we create they gave me a platform where i could really realize my dream closer than i thought it could be the main idea i had was something very big but they brought me to realize i could start at any time with even the little that i could with the little resources that i could start with i was part of the recreate flight three and i learned the business model and it's an easier way of doing business because it teaches you how you can start a business step by step how do you come up with resources if you don't have resources how do you use the resources you already have which is most important i love the part about bootstrapping because they teach you how to make resources with what you already have you don't have to have someone invest a billion dollars in your business you are a million dollars where you are or a billion dollars so you could find a way with what you have you could find a way with using a few skills at the moment i'm promoting the arts i could find a way to find my commission through from through selling his art i'm um, doing catering with the simple stuff you do, you could realize your dream. That's what WeCreate taught me. So I'm trying to realize my dream with what I have now. So WeCreate basically, it helped me to get on my feet. Most importantly, even just to register my company. I always thought I'll only register when I have all the money that I need to start in my account. But I was told, no, you register now. You register now so that you can plan ahead. Some of the challenges I face, um, having people to believe in your dream and not thinking you're just having an idea that won't go far people to believe that you definitely have a dream that will take you somewhere in terms of art i have people who don't appreciate who don't think art should be appreciated they feel maybe the prices may be too high or it's not something that should be art is just meant to be bought on an international scale and the local art is not as quality enough as the international art is so definitely promoting it will be a bit more difficult but i think i'm motivated to challenges are definitely just having people believe in you and that that's one thing i think is most important I have found many along the way, but I'm still working towards that. And just having fellow women support fellow women in businesses as well. Women need to be given equal opportunities with everyone and maybe even more. Women naturally are born of um, an amazingly creative mind. They see the beauty in so many things. We see it from our homes when there's no food in the house and our mother will somehow find a way to make a meal just from the small things and we need women in the country to be inspired to aim for what they really feel they can achieve not just the main uh, roles that they are thought to be taking uh, maybe cooking or being a housewife or the simple roles they need to achieve their dreams in their own being i'd like to say thank you to we creates uh, to sean griffin um i've definitely been inspired and many women have and i'm honored to be part of them because definitely a few years from now i will look back and think i wouldn't have been where i am today if it wasn't for we create because i just i've been sitting for over four years with a proposal but after joining we create i now have a registered business and i'm going forward and setting up soon so definitely we create has taken me up on my feet i was dreaming but i think i'm about to realize my dream very soon From the time I came here, my husband is a lecturer at the university, but I opted to come and do um, uh, a bit of farming. We have this is a small holding it's about uh, five acres and i'm um, doing farming because of uh, we create the soil where we were living wasn't very good i tried to do different kinds of things so i decided to come and um, take an entrepreneurship course with uh, we create having gone to we create and learned uh, in an entrepreneurship uh, course i began to listen to the testimonies of uh, other people that have been doing farming and how far they've gone and i decided to do it I, i've had interest in 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 uh, in, uh, in doing this and um, we create taught us not to depend on borrowing before you start doing anything they taught us to start doing and go and that's where i began from we're being encouraged to start that's when i started uh, on a small scale um, just uh, um, a small portion of uh, farming and um, uh, selling to the marketeers i started um, um, 
selling vegetables to them who were taking to the market. Later, I learned, uh, I, I, I approached food lovers and game if they could take my vegetables. I'm supplying vegetables. But after supplying vegetables, I also started, because I've got um, um, free range uh, chickens and um, ducks, I, uh, my husband helped me to buy a, a, an incubator where I'm doing eggs for the free range chickens and the free range um, ducks. My experience with We Create has been a wonderful journey. I'm so thankful to them. They've uh, given me a lot of connection just to friends. You know, the, the people that uh, were on the course with us, we are able to work together uh, in different ways. They've given us a network. They are the ones that have actually pushed uh, me to actually have the courage to approach even the bigger supermarkets. When I came to We Create, I'm able to do so much. I'm so busy. I don't have a minute. I don't, I don't have time to waste. My mom had barely anything to do because she didn't really have much inspiration to do anything at the farm. So the farm was just sitting. And then she had the opportunity to go to recreate and from there things began to start off. She started to do the farming bit by bit and she started to pick. At the beginning she was focusing on things that people were also doing but then she started to diversify. That's when she started doing her lettuce and her red cabbages and her red lettuce and different things. She's purpose driven and she's got she's got a, an eye for, for things and she wants to learn new things and to do her best. She pushes for things that people don't think she can do and she proves them wrong. Vasuma Fesana Wino Wino Kozi Tabakwata Fifekova Tilim that she vaska bami panga ma pressures that she or much tleshani uh uh vala to lekile la kofrafine, which is also good for us. Uh Trakwata kuira motivation of cha we must to, to work hard. The challenges I, I face as a woman entrepreneur is uh, financial um, capacity in terms of who to approach, especially the banks when we want to do anything. I would have loved to do this on a very big scale uh, after being at an entrepreneurship uh, course. But of course I've had um, um, problems with uh, where to access financing. I think women should be empowered. They are providing for their families through that. I'm so thankful to We Create. I'm so thankful to the Obama Initiative as well. I'm very happy. <laughs> Basically, I'll summarize, we are here for to empower women, to help women, to help the women be empowered with the skills to manage businesses. So I'm actually privileged, or we are privileged as we create, to receive the counselor who is working with us. Because one of the goals for we create is um, to work with partners. And for us, on behalf of my director, who's supposed to be a uh, Nambula Kachumi, we are very, very grateful. And I wouldn't say much. I just want to welcome everybody. This is your home, and feel free. And I believe and trust that we spend some few days with the women. Actually, I was with, always with them. And I can tell you to say, these are women who are going to make a change. <laughs>
Women's Empowerment Fund. Um, really, we started with the women that have small businesses that look like maybe they might be struggling businesses. So we just wanted to boost their businesses a little bit by giving them small loans, which are interest-free, and it's a revolving fund. So I started with my monthly allowance for up to one year. But um, I also knew that these, women, these businesses are struggling. So we partnered with WeCreate to give them the skills that they need, the entrepreneurship skills that they need to be able to actually grow their businesses and sustain their businesses. <laughs> Kuti business ya tuende paso golo mwamene bati chitira kwa impawa. So if na if tiene la kutiba nzatu bali mkomuniti, tiba punzi seko na bevi baka buwele kuno na waka chiteko mapunziro munga haya. Chintu chamele cha chitigira muno mwadi nkoroma waduwanu mchawama ni sewo kundwela. Chifukua mwamele tiriri hapa, siti zangala chumozi mozi, siti zangala kwa wosiana. Nga tituma business tuwenze kwa tungono. Hapa tuzao njezera, tuzanga lako tukuruko, kulingana na chitukuko checha buwela muno, mucha wama, kuloma wadiwano, pasiku ya lehi. These women remind me of my grandmother, my dear. Uh, she traded at a local market, and I'm a direct product of her. Um, another beneficiary would be my father. I think some of you might know him. Yes, so if I might, Jared was not a small business owner, such as these women. I would not be here today. Perhaps I wouldn't have the success that I have had this far. <coughs> Many of you are probably asking yourselves, what is the Women's Empowerment Fund all about? Why now? And why is Honorable Tassila Lungu driving this initiative? Why should women have fun of their own? The answer is simple. Africa and the world has now come to understand that economic empowerment of women has a direct correlation to effective development when we educate young girls and equip them for self-employment or traditional jobs, we do so with the knowledge that we are empowering them, their families, society, our economy as a whole. We secure their future. Also the future of Zambians who will succeed us long after we are gone. Zambia, in addition to other member states of the United Nations, endorsed the notion of women's empowerment when they unanimously adopted in September 2015 the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development and its 17 goals. Let me thank the women of Nkoloma Ward for their self-belief. I also wish to thank you and make a tribute to We Create Zambia for their continued and unrelenting support to our communities. God bless you. Uh, before We Create, I was I used to work before and then I, and, uh, I tried my first attempt to go into business and that was carpenter and fish. It was a bit lucrative, though we were just making the margins according to what we, are, we had the court of the day. But from my life after we create, turned things around because what they've taught us the women here at we create is it's beyond weak because we have taught us how to reach your goals, how to, there's no limit as a woman. And I didn't know, I even wish I started this area because every day, the, the ideas I learned here, every day I have new ideas that come up, that pop up. I want to brand this, I want to do a new product. It has really helped me as a woman. It has really helped me. Learned a lot, I've, 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 I've built self-confidence i'm able to you know to see the, the 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 market i'm able to to identify groups and also like we create has just built me because um, there are very few entrepreneur uh, organization in our country that are supporting women and it being one of them like it was a privilege for me to be part of the we create team we create has been a platform that i found to be very useful it has helped me to understand my, my business uh, better, to also understand my space and how I fit in and how I fit into um, the financial sector and how I can sp expand in Zambia. Um, I've also been able to uh, come across 
different mentors that the, the center has actually brought to us. And throughout the weeks, we've been able to interact with them also on a personal level for them to share their story of where they are and also encourage me to get to where I'm going. So this has been in different spheres as well. I've been to We Create, I met women who came with no ideas, but when you see the ideas that the women at We Create have, it's amazing what the minds of these women have. It is, it's something that you should, I advise women to come in and see for themselves how the other women, the challenges we are facing, and should, when they come here, they'll be so inspired to see how their friends are now managing and are moving forward. I learned how to manage my business, I I, I learned that with uh, I learned that to, in order for me to, to continue doing my business, I need to to register my company, which I did. I need to register with uh, ZRIA. I did register with ZRIA, and uh, right now the only thing remaining is to open an account with the FNB. I learned how to manage my business, and I learned that I need to I, I, I need to source for market. And I, need, I, I learned how to brand and uh, brand and market my products. The one thing that I'll take out of WeCreate and run with it and not look back is the, that they taught me to add value to my product. Believe you me, I didn't know that was so important. I thought I'd wake up and just sell things. But when they told me to add value to my product, it was something I thought, what, add value to what? And I've learned a lot about how to do business, how to expand my business, how to sell, because it's not only producing, because as much as you produce, you need to sell. So I've learned a lot of strategies of how to sell, how to get connected to people, how to network with those that are already in the same business that I'm doing. It's about week Chifuka vamene wanati punzisa ni vamene stenzo ziva. But pa after vati punzisa, tinaziva. So loko kasundi dwe kandrama, kunkala naija accountability, tibinae maningi. Siti chita misuse in drama mwamene tenzo chitila kudara. I've learned how to not wait, wait to, to get big funding to actually start your business. I learned that you can actually begin with even just small finances. And um, just being here also um, taught, taught me how to sort of like, you know, use my initiative and to be creative and to um, make use of what I have and be able to generate um, funds out of it. And I'm proud to, and I'm happy, I'm glad that we actually came to recreate and join the group of women who are, you should see these women, how, how inspiring they are. The top uh, women in the group, we have the top seven women. Oh my God, very inspiring women who, when you meet them, all they do is share ideas, they talk about ideas. Brilliant women, amazing women. I've met them, and uh, uh, but, uh, when, when we together and we're sharing ideas, you can't sleep, all you want is to, the next day you want to wake up and brand your product and share your ideas. As we create, we're very proud of this program because it enables us to actually see the trajectory of these women entrepreneurs. I have learned a lot. I've interacted with a lot of mentors and I've been encouraged. And through that journey, most importantly, is because the, they actually have access to mentorship. My name is uh, Samuel Temash Fonka. Uh, I've been uh, a mentor with we create from 2015. Inspiration is key when you are you are doing business because of challenges that we you meet on the way, of uh, difficulties that you meet. Inspiration is key, and uh, that's one key component that we bring to 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 the fold with women. They come, they already have, they know what they want. So at the end of the 15 week, and through a very highly mentor-focused uh, uh, model, the entrepreneurs will obviously graduate. And some of our key performance indicators is to ensure that um, entrepreneurs actually launch their businesses by the time they are graduating. And our main focus is to ensure that um, as women venture into business, 
they can actually grow businesses that are sustainable and that can also uh, contribute to increasing their quality of income and um, can also contribute to growing new jobs uh, in the market. Within five years, we should be able to supply uh, the, the, the regional markets as well as the, the African markets throughout Africa, from Cape to Cairo. We, we know that one day, every house from Cape to Cairo will be eating frozen chips. I'm a happy woman because my product, everything I'm doing right now, is selling. And I thank We Create. If you can't locate where We Create is, get on your, uh, on your computer or your phone, Google, you'll find We Create Zambia, and We Create Zambia will make you move from where you are to a better level. Looking at some of the stories change for the women that have access programs here at the center, seeing them move from one level of business to the next level, being able to provide the necessary support and sometimes the, the linkage, the network, even the mentorship is a very satisfying feeling for me and my team here at the WeCreate Center. Hi.